All right, good morning world. It is currently 8 o'clock in the morning. It is July 20th. I am just about 11 to 12 days from the one year transformation photos. And as you can see, the leanness is here. Still got, as I mentioned, 12 days and I'm still gonna be cutting some fat during that time, but I'm all on that hormonal optimization right now. So I've been hovering around the same body weight, yet I'm still seeing myself lean out. And it's all because um, now I've completely kind of changed and re-geared my nutrition. So if you guys have been watching along this little mini series here, it's only about five to six videos, but it's covering this little cut that I'm going through where I'm attempting to cut about 10 to 12 pounds in about 36 to 37 days. So as I took you guys through there, the first couple weeks, I was just really focused on the fat loss. So I was still enjoying, you know, kind of cheap meal kind of foods, but keeping myself in a nice caloric deficit. And now that I'm a couple weeks away from the one year transformation photos, I brought my caloric intake up right around maintenance again, but I'm starting to eat a lot cleaner types of foods to help boost up my hormones, to make my skin look nice and smooth and that I have everything firing on all synapses when I'm uh, right there for the one year transformation photos. So things have been going amazing. If you guys saw there in the morning, my morning body weight was 168.6. And to be honest right now, I am about as lean as I was last year for the one year transformation photos. So I'm still gonna shoot to keep cutting some fat here. I'm, I'm still shooting to reach about 165 to 163 pounds because that's what I was at last year. So over this last year here, I put on a little bit of weight but I still had visible abs year round but I think I put on some serious muscles. So if I cut down to 165 pounds, that might, you know, I might start affecting things here but I'm feeling great so far. I'm seeing striations and I still have 12 days to go. This intermittent fasting is working absolutely amazing. And as I mentioned there, for the first few weeks, I was still enjoying really awesome foods and I'm still enjoying really big meals right now. Like last night, the, I ate a whole roll of sushi. I had a whole bunch of chicken and rice from Barricat. So everything's going absolutely amazing right now. But as I mentioned there, it's about eight o'clock in the morning. What I've been doing lately is waking up super early. So I I've already been grinding here on the computer for the last hour to hour and a half and yeah, everything's just going awesome so far. I thought I'd just take you guys through my day here today, show you how things are going with this fat loss, show you how things are just going with my typical lifestyle. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoy another day on planet Earth with the Hungarian experiment. All right, so it's just about three o'clock there and I'm about to break the fast. I've been editing this whole time. I've been struggling to get a video up to YouTube there, but I got a nice uh, bowl of, this is actually leftover bear cat from last night, the beautiful one, and I got sushi and bear cat. So this is a uh, chicken and rice. There's not much chicken left over because I ate most of it last night, but there's some hummus and some cabbage that's left over, but pretty much just a nice bowl of rice three o'clock breaking the fast right now I feel just a little depleted so I want to have a meal before I go to the gym but I don't want to have a huge meal right now the uh, the mother and I we ran off to uh, Costco and I got a bunch of burgers and stuff but I don't want to have a huge meal before I run off to the gym here I think I'm gonna try to uh, beat my PR of 600 pounds on the rack pull there but while we we're at Costco I actually bought this uh, money tree here look at this thing it's pretty cool looking it was only like 20 bucks, so we've been uh, wanting to fill the apartment out here with some nice plants. And uh, I think this is a great start, so our very first plant.
All right, so I'm running a little bit late for the second social lab meetup. It's not that I'm running late, but we all said that uh, we were gonna meet there a little early, so I am running a little late for the early meeting. But two beef burgers from Costco. Gonna munch this down, and then the beautiful one's leaving me for a week and a half. What do you have to say to the world for going on a cruise? And Go on vacation, gone? I don't really care. Oh, no rude, offense. rude. I'm going to be working for the next week and a half, but I got to run. Only got 10 minutes and I'm running late, so I stink. I have to shower still, so. All right, so I was driving home and the sunset just looked absolutely amazing. The way it was hitting off the one London building there and some of the buildings downtown. So I decided to record this little bit up here for you. I just left the uh, second ever social lab meetup. It went pretty good. It wasn't exactly what I expected it. We did have more people on the Facebook group um, say that they were going to come out and be part of it. But thank you very much to Jesse and Roman. You guys, wow, you guys had some very great ideas that we're definitely going to implement into our plan and how we're going to go about interacting and engaging with London, Ontario here. But one thing that uh, I want to discuss here is that uh, we've hit our first roadblock. This is one thing that I kind of want to document and Matt and I have discussed that we want to take you guys through this journey of what is the social lab and what this is all becoming and some of the roadblocks and things that are going to happen along this path. We're going to have certain ideas for how things go and we're going to try it out and experiment and it's going to fail horribly. Or we're going to experiment with something and try something and have a certain expectation or a certain kind of hypothesis I, I guess you would say on how the result would come but it, it, it's going to end up completely different. So we want to take you guys through our ideas and how things are happening. Something has challenged us. We've Everything has been going smooth so far. Every plan, every kind of idea that we've initiated every meetup we've had actionable items and we managed to carry them out but this is our first big roadblock so this is pushing us this is testing us and finding out if we're really prepared if we're really ready to do something like this and to be honest world I'm ready Matt's ready everyone else who's behind the scenes right now like they're working their asses off to make this thing a possibility so I'm gonna keep you know pushing this I'm gonna keep letting you guys know about this here on my vlogs and behind the scenes of my YouTube channel and letting you guys know how the social lab is going. So make sure you go check out our Facebook group. It's got all the current meetup group dates and everything that you may need to know about the social lab and what is going on down there in the description box. So go check it out. Go hit that like button. Go leave us a comment and go hit subscribe if you haven't yet. You guys are awesome. We just hit our first roadblock and I'm loving this challenge. Bring it on world. But to be completely honest, world, this may be it for me for today. Uh, I was going to do just a one day vlog, but I might make this into the next couple of days all combined together. I have a lot of work to do tonight. There's not much more fun or interesting to really show you guys. Uh, I already went to the gym. I have a lot of computer work to do, a lot of editing, and a lot of social lab and social media work and a whole lot of boring stuff. So there's not much more fun that's going to go on. I'm probably going to eat one more meal. I might show you guys that. but. I'll see you guys tomorrow in the morning. But now that the beautiful one has left me, you guys are going to keep me company for the next week and a half, so you're coming along the journey with me. I'll see you tomorrow morning. Alright, so for the last couple hours here, I've just been grinding doing social lab stuff. I'm not sure if you guys are following along the journey there, but right now I'm actually doing the Instagram experiment. So basically just like how I first tried to initiate engagement on my Instagram and uh, Twitter accounts with the Hungarian experiment here. I'm taking a very similar approach with the social lab. Basically for the last couple hours there, I've just been following people on Instagram and engaging with them, talking with them, um, trying to find out what they think of the social lab and what they think this is all about. But right now my mom actually just got back. She got these crazy mushrooms that she's gonna cook up for us tonight. So let's go take a look and see what these look like. They're crazy looking. Look at these things. So what are these things called again? My take. My take. My take. I don't know how to pronounce it. Oh, that feels interesting. It smells just like the regular mushrooms. Yeah, it just yeah. looks like a whole grouping of them pretty yeah. much. And they said to do it like slice it and make it into like steaks and flip. Oh There's, yeah? Yeah. So where'd you get these from? I got these at Talbotville Berry Farms. 
between London and St. Thomas, closer to St. Thomas on uh, Canal Talbot Road. And uh, they said that they will be growing these year round in a climate controlled environment. Yeah, I'm excited. Let's cook these up, see what they look like. Alright, it is currently 3.18 now and I am about to break the fast. I made up some burgers here. Oh yeah, look at that. We got pickles, tomatoes, eggplant, and some like pesto basil sauce down there. Oh yeah, it's got a little bit of cheese in it, but I'll, I'll take that for today. And got some extra eggplant on the side there. I have been munching since about 3 o'clock, so I did break the fast a little bit earlier, but yes. First meal here ready to go. I think today's gonna be a pretty boring day for you guys because I'm just gonna be working and uh, eating. So <laughs> thank you guys so much for following along the journey so far. Gonna mow down these burgers here. Take mushroom, broccoli, and cauliflower pasta. So I'm gonna give this a taste test here. And this is some pretty expensive mushrooms too. $18 for just a pound of this stuff. So this is like meat right mm. here. This is good. It tastes like chicken. Taste really? Try not no. Alright, here we go, world. Yeah, it's almost like fleshy tasting, like like a meat, but it's not. Mm. And like compared to like um, a portobello mushroom, right. it's got that hint of like portobello taste, but it's not like, mm -hmm. I don't know, I find portobello just a little overwhelming. And this is not like that, it's kind of mm -hmm. good. Mm -hmm. world. 